Yo guys, what's going on? Jackson here from RuneTCG, and today I'm super excited to show you guys another video on my channel. So, before I get into, like, anything, um, thank you guys so much for 600 subscribers. That's just crazy to me that I've been able to get this channel to grow so much, and I definitely couldn't have done it without you guys. So, thank you guys so much, and if you want to help support me even more than just subscribing... Um, you can always check out the link in the description, the GameCrafter link. You can buy packs, set one and set two, and hopefully set three soon, and or a starter deck. And you can also get the newer product on the market, the Basics Box, which is basically just a way to get into competitive Rune TCG. So, anyways, before I also get into the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Um, my goal for 2021 is to reach 1,000 subscribers halfway there kind of started the year at that but yeah they, it just growth has been crazy and i want to keep that train rolling so let's just get into the video so today i will be opening the newest set set three discovering zendetta you guys have no idea how long these has been just sitting on my shelf taunting me to open them but i decided i was going to wait to open them for, to open them on camera and so yeah they look so nice they're gold to represent the new gold color in the game and yeah i've shown you all the minions except for this guy the cover card but you'll have to wait and see if we pull them or not we'll be showing you the actual card and but i didn't show you all the spells so hopefully we can get some new cards in to show you guys and yeah let's just get right into it so, to be honest, I don't really care what I pull. I've never opened a set 3 pack. I've opened tons of set 1 and 2. For, like, just fun, on video. Oh, spoiler, what the first card is. Normally I cut it with a scissors too, but I'm just lazy. So Okay, so, first card set 3 is... Nice. Rotander Aspopilicus. Nice black minion. Then we have Zingpole. Lantern. Ooh, Hyperloop. It's a nice spell. One played, kill your active minion, and then you gain two points. Basically, it's a way to win the game. Without killing your without killing your opponent's minions, I think it's that's a really cool aspect of the game. So yeah. Also, if you want to look at a card more in depth, you can always pause the video. And also, let me know down in the comments which cards you thought were your favorite, and if you might try and pick up a set three pack. So, yep. So now we have an environment, the moon. Whilst this environment is in play, minions with abilities lose 500 attack for every rune they need to attack. So. Yeah, this is a really strong anti-ability card. And since abilities are really precedent in the meta right now, the moon is definitely a really good step to get rid of that. And, like, adds no ability minions like Zamblino here to, in the um, mainstream. Then we have Gramillion. I really love Gramillion. I think he's a really cool artwork and a really cool ability. Um, yeah. So you can pause the video if you want to know what he does, because I already went over it in the green, um, green video. Then we have Flame and Gecko. Really cool red support. Dread Snake. Ooh, so... Oh my god, this actually turned out really well. We got the first gold minion on the channel, so that's really cool. Uh, if you didn't know, gold is the color that can use any type of rune to attack. And yeah, they're really cool. Then we have Bim Bimly Boom, Pilfering Smack, and all. There's the Rune card next, and I'm really worried. I don't. I like like you guys know. I do different Rune like designs for every set. It's so like set one was just a base one. Set two was like different shapes, and set three are these like interesting looking artifacts. So black Rune. That's what it looks like. Then we have Tanhoon and Defensive Hex. It's the first um, trap card on the channel. So that's really cool. It's a really strong card, too. Um, I think I went over it, so I won't 
to say it, but then we have Sweeping Hook. Sweeping Hook's really, really strong, guys. You may swap your active minion with one of your bench, or you may swap your opponent's active minion with one on their bench. And yeah, it's re it's a really powerful card. Then we have Plant a Giant. It's a decent budget, um, five cost, but it's not that great. Like when you're not like building a deck right off the pack. Then we have Dlu. I was really hoping to get Dlu because Dlu is going to be really strong in um, in some ha possessed pumpkin decks. So yeah. I need to pick up the pace here, otherwise this video is going to be like 20 ages long, so. But, yeah, I really, I'm not disappointed, I can't be really disappointed on the first opening of the set. But I really want to get the cover card so I can show it to you guys. So, yeah. First up, we have Paralophus. We're getting a lot of green cards, which is kind of nice because green is kind of the set. This green is kind of the color for this set, like that got really stronger. Tesla Boon, Toxic Dart Frog, another sweeping hook, the Anti Totem, really cool looking card, I think. Zendetta Power Core. This is a good support for the Zendetta archetype, which is a gold archetype. Ing Boldre. Oh, nice, we got a super rare, Swoople. Um, Swoople, I think, is really strong. It's when played, you may move a minion in play to its owner's hand, discarding all cards attached to it. Basically, it's just a really strong way to just disrupt your opponent. And Swoople, I, see, well, I bet we'll see play, even in not black decks. So that's really good. Then we have Draken Spear. Welk Snake. Four. Another trap. Pop up shield. Our rune is a green rune. That's really cool looking. Now we have one of my favorite cards of set three. Hawk's Need. I really just like the mechanic it uses. Then we have Lucky Clover. I don't think I've shown this one on the channel. It's really cool. You may have any amount of this card in your deck, which means you could have your whole deck of just Lucky Clovers, but I don't think you would really want that because you can't win then. But if you play one Lucky Clover, um, you search your deck for a card. If you play four Lucky Clovers, gain eight points. So you actually could technically win with a Lucky Clover, but I don't think you could because it, it would take too long to win. But yeah, Lucky Clover is a really interesting card. Te te Telcor Tesla Imp. Zamblino. And another Zendetta support card, Zendetta Search Drones, which is really not a really cool card. So, yeah, I'm actually really happy with that. We got a super rare, which is one in three packs. So, yeah, that's pretty lucky. We should have, like, our odds are in our favor. We should get something like that in our four packs that we're going to open today. But, yeah. So, third pack. Nice. Floffy is our first card. Then we have the Moon. You already saw that. Telcor Tesla Beast. Another pop up shield. We are getting a lot of duplicates, but that's not con really concerning. Primitive Pineapple Warrior, especially since they're just duplicates of good cards. Then we have another Dulu. Welcone. Sartan Longblade. Ooh, Extreme Reflexes. I've shown this one on the channel, but another really cool card. Recycle, it's basically a really good way to cycle cards back into your deck without... There you, there was a card that is better than this, but you do have to get the starter deck to be able to like use it. Because you it's called the Suma Howl, and it only comes in the blue starter deck. So this is just a, basically an easier option to get it. And then you have Zul Armada, really cool card. Another Zamblino. you got in Zamblino every single pack, are you kidding me? Then we have Sticky Blore. I love this card's ability. And our rune is a white rune, so that's pretty cool. I'm really excited to show you guys just kind of set through set three of me opening it and stuff. So that's, that'll be really fun to go through this. Then we have Tri Whip. Tesla Boon. Welk Snake. 
And the Forgotten Plateau, I absolutely adore this card's art. And it's another anti-minion ability card, so that's really interesting. Especially for set 3. Because set 3 is kind of focused on coming back to the basics of the game. While establishing what's kind of going to be in the game for the rest of Rune TCG, right? Because, like, I don't really plan on adding any more mechanics into the game. I don't really see a point for it, so... Yeah. So the final pack for set 3, at least for this video is Amunga Tree is our first card, and it's rare, really strong. I actually really, really like Amunga Tree. Some people don't think it's very good, but I think it is. Then we have Bimli Boom, Hyperloop, Zangin Gangan, I think that's just a funny name, Grastrich, Disarm, Runic Summoning, that's a really strong card in multi-rune decks. Draken Spear. Pang Warrior. I was actually kind of hoping to get a Pang card because I really like the Penguin archetype. Then we have a Zendetta card. Zendetta Ancient Shield. Extreme Reflexes. Another Pang card. Pang Hatchling. Hopefully we can get the King of the Pangs. But I doubt that's going to happen. Zamblino. We've gotten Zamblino every single pack. Is that gonna be like our wild wing for Chaos Galaxy? That's ridiculous. Oh. Zamblino isn't even that like cool looking. Then we have Defensive Hex, it's our last rare. Drakenia. Another Lucky Clover, which is actually pretty good because you need four of them for to really be worth it for Lucky Clovers. Xenoth. And then our rune is our red rune, so that's really cool. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, catch me in the next video. I think I'll go over how to make a new method to make trading card games. I'll kind of show you guys how I make cards games. So get hyped for that. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you haven't already and you stick to the end of the video, please subscribe. And yeah, I'll catch you in the next one.